Hi guys, I am so excited that you finally get to see me. Today I'm going to show you how to make this lovely wig. It's a lace frontal wig using our raw Indian virgin hair. I hope you enjoy it. I will be using Brazilian lace frontal. We have customized the hairline of this frontal, making it look more natural. Broken from the star, chained to our past. We had closed from you need to measure your head and cut to fit your head measurement. You need to cut a piece from both sides to meet your head measurement. Your frontal should look like this after being cut. I will be using my two frontal pieces to create baby hairs for the back of my wig. This wig will be made using our new wig cap. This cap is specially designed for frontal wigs. It's the same cap our suppliers use for our lace front wigs. I have turned the wig cap inside out to show you a different method of making your lace frontal wig. This cap is so good and easy to use because the white lines show you where to place your frontal. Place your frontal onto your dummy head using the white lines as a guide and secure with T-pins. Cut the back lace of your frontal. We are breaking free. It's just you and me. Sew around your frontal.
Click on the video to see how we used the two pieces cut from the frontal to make baby hairs for the back of this wig, allowing you to wear your hair in a ponytail. I will be using only two bundles of hairs for this wig in 24 inches raw Indian curly. Start sewing from one side to the other. Flip over the weft when you get to the end and sew your needle through the weft. This will make the weft to lay flat.
we are going to build the back of the wig first in a zigzag line then we will work our way up the sides When you get to the front of your frontal, leave half an inch space from your front hairline and sew through the edge of your frontal, securing both weft and frontal.
you're now going to sew from side to side in a C style.
one bundle of hair completed this is how it looks broken from the start chain to our past we had closed hearts Join the second bundle with the end of the first bundle and continue sewing using the C method.
If your weft looks like this, with the gaps, use your T-pin to pull out the hairs from under the thread. You need to start making bigger spaces between wefts as you get to the top, to avoid your hair from being top heavy, making your hair to look bulky.
The last line of your weft, you need to sew your weft and front two together to secure. This makes the hair to lay flat. The front two is lighter than my bundles because they are virgin hairs and comes in natural colours. It does blend together nicely, you will see at the end of the video. Also, this video has been delayed for weeks because every time I put my raw Indian hair aside to film, we always sell out in a shop. And I have to end up giving my bundles to customers, so to not delay this video any longer, I picked up the bundles that was available. This wig is for me, so I don't mind the colour difference, for I will be dyeing it soon.
Start by cutting the front and back lace on your wig cap. Then very carefully cut the lace from your frontal following the hairline. Some people cut the lace whilst they are wearing the wig. I prefer to cut mine this way for I can see better so I don't make any mistakes by cutting into my baby hairs. I will be adding a comb to this wig, this is optional. You can sew your comb anywhere in your cap, side, front, middle or back. I am going to have it in the back for I find the combs uncomfortable to wear anywhere else. Now add your elastic band. Take your head measurements before cutting. I am using smaller bands today. Start, 
you secure your clips like this between your wefts. This wig is very secure on your head and will not move. I will do a little shake for you. This is how our customized hairline looks. I love the way that I'm feeling. This wig is easy off, easy on. It makes me feel high. I love the way that I'm feeling. To see more pictures of this wig, follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Every blessing from Blessed Love.